Well, yo guys, what's up? Uh, what a f Anyways, yo guys, what's up? That is a bad start. Yo guys, what's up? This is Riding on Detour reporting all the way from India, Rama Bengaluru, and how are you all doing? Yet another motor vlog, and this time again we are going in 4K, and there is no front facing camera in that case. There's gonna be very little editing that's gonna be involved in this video because earlier when I had the front facing camera, I had to sync both. And another thing is, the front facing camera was a 100p, it was not a 4K in that case, it used to be a fake 4K resolution only for the front facing camera. Well, it used to render in 4K while it was captured only in 100p. So, I felt this time I don't need a front facing camera. It's just gonna be the SJ8 Pro. Let's take some pro level shit. And here I am. Well, today I'm just out. I have a new setup on my. On the way, how exactly the camera is mounted. I hope that it is mounted. I mean, I hope you're able to see the the handlebar and the road, and it's not too much towards the road or too much towards the handle handlebar. Well, today's video is about. Uh, my experience uh, shooting, rendering and uploading 4K videos. First thing, shooting. Well, uh, in order to shoot, you need to have a really good camera. In my case, I have one of the best, I can tell you, one of the best uh, 4K camera, which is capable of doing 4K in 60 FPS, even though the image stabilization will go off. A little bit of shakiness while you're vlogging on a bike is always fun to see and second is rendering the video you need to have really good hardware if you want to edit the video render it and upload it you need to have good internet speed as well so i have an alienware m14x which is i always keep talking about this because that is the device that i use to uh, you know make my videos that is the laptop that i use to make my videos which is about four years old it's performing really good but not that great actually uh, when it comes to oh that is a undersea exhaust let's have a look what's happening in there so i just want to have a look how exactly this thing is going so that is a dual undersea exhaust i'm pretty sure one is a fake one and it looks good it doesn't look good at the same time it doesn't go that well with the bike if it was a little chunkier it would have been better anyways let's have a look how let's hope that there is a red signal over there and i get to have a small chat with him let's hope if he's taking a right then i'm so sorry guys i'll not be able to make any video on this Bro, he's taking it pretty easy. He's like calm, riding. He's taking the right as well. So let me have a look. Bikes. <laughs> let me have a look how exactly it looks from the side. Ah, uh, there is one scary power point. Anyways, let me just continue with what exactly I was talking. So, uh, second thing is rendering. I uh, have an Alienware again. This is the second time I'm saying that in this particular video. And I use that particular device. It's got a GT555, that is the NVIDIA GeForce uh, graphics card with a 4GB RAM and an i7, I guess, first or second gen. It's about 2.2 GHz. So, it does perform pretty decent but if you want to if you want to edit like videos in 4k i would say you need a better hardware reason why you can see me not making so many videos in 4k because it's really hard guys believe it or not the last video that i uploaded in 4k which ended up to be a fail because the image stabilization sorry distortion correction was on and the point of view was really narrow and there was no proper sync between the front camera and the helmet camera so that ended up to be like a fail. I would like to call it as a fail video because that was not a good good start for a 4K. 
but still uh, we learn from our mistakes uh, yeah it takes about i mean last video it took me about 22 hours for me to render no 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 no, no. not 22 it was actually 16 hours for me to render that video and to upload uploading was pretty decent because i have a act connection which so uploading was not a problem at all just the rendering was a big problem and another hassle which i had which i had to face trust me guys i really have no idea where i'm going because i was supposed to take a right over there but i took I, but i came in straight so i'm going to take a right in here and another thing was i was very shocked when i saw this that is when i upload the video that is i uploaded the video everything was perfectly all right what i did is i just scheduled the video to be published at a particular time that was about two hours later than when it was actually uploaded and um, it successfully published and later when i checked the video even on my laptop because in the phone app it doesn't show 4k so the max is 100p 60 fps so i checked in my laptop and when i saw that for my that was a really big surprise because Imagine you put in so much of effort and you render the video, you waited for almost 24 hours to get the entire thing sorted out and then you see online, uh, the video shows as 100p at 60fps, I was like are you kidding me because I double checked the actual video, it said as 4k and after uploading it was showing as 100p at 60fps and I did a lot of research online and that is when I realized that that YouTube takes a little while, little extra time like about 5, 6, 8. In my case, it took, from what I checked, it took about 7 to 8 hours. So YouTube takes a little while for the entire 4K uh, thing to be available. Hours is when the 4K option was available on the video. So that was a big thing for me to take because I was super excited. I had to put the video into private for some time. I mean, unlisted for some time. For about eight hours and after that i had to make it public so there was a big thing and apart from that i would say everything else was perfectly all right these are the major things that something that you have to go through when you are actually making a video in 4k and another downside or upside whatever you want to call it is that not many devices not many laptops in the market is capable of uh, playing 4k videos for example even my laptop is not capable of uh, playing 4k videos it goes super slow mo it goes choppy so i would say mm, 4k is just a fancy thing it's worth up upgrading to 4k because 4k is going to be the future right now my only hope is that everything is set perfectly i'm pretty sure that i will be able to edit this video as well because this thing uh, the sj8 pro records the audio and the video together so in that case i need not sync anything it is already pre-synced uh, so that won't be a problem at all the only thing that i'm worried right now is the viewing angle use the indicators as <laughs> distortion correction turn off big big difference that's okay i am really happy with the fish eye view it's not that much of a fish eye but it is really a wide viewing angle anyways guys that's all for now don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button down below and um, i love you all right hard right safe take care